Joe, getting back to the Montreal game for just a second, the Caps welcomed back Sonny Milano after I, I believe it was like a two-month stretch with him sidelined. He pays some immediate dividends, scores a goal in that game, and he's never been a prolific goal scorer in his career. He's got 14, I think, twice in his career so far, but on a team that struggles to find the back of the net, I'm sure that Spencer Carberry isn't you know, nitpicking here. He'll take goals from anybody. So nice sign to have uh, Sonny back and, and for him to be scoring in his first game back in quite a while. Exactly. We hadn't seen him since uh, mid-December. He took a high hit from Jacob Truba of the Rangers, and uh, it, it's been a while without Sonny. And, and Sonny's the top of the list for Sonny in terms of his attributes is a skill set. He, he's a hands guy. Leo Locker will call him a hands guy. Uh, a guy who has phenomenal abilities with the puck on his stick and can help create. And, and you're exactly right. When you're the team that's, I want to say, still the lowest scoring squad in the Eastern Conference, you'll take any uh, offensive, positive offensive contributions that are that you can muster. And to see him get one in the first game back was, was dynamite. I thought he worked really well with Mike Scarbosa and Max Pacioretty. That line had several quality shifts. You know, JP's talking about what happened in the third period. Those guys really did ramp up, too. And when they had the puck uh, in the third, they were a threat. So I, I would imagine that that trio stays together tonight and, and hopefully gives the Devils the same kind of trouble. Now, the bad news coming out of that Montreal game is Martin Faravari, lower leg injury. He, I believe he was spotted on either crutches or a walking boot leaving the arena. Carbs called it a week-to-week situation with him. Uh, who goes in in his stead tonight and going forward because it looks like he's going to be out for a while yeah let's hope it's it's just a couple of weeks and that it's not multiple multiple weeks after uh after that type of injury marty's had a, a rough season this season he plays so hard he's so fast and the collisions that he creates in and around the goal behind the goal on the defensive end a lot of the times uh leave your head spinning going how in the world did he get up out of that one but this one he didn't come come away with uh come away from in good shape if they're going to be missing him for a while, it means extra duty and elevation, I think, in role for Rasmus Sandin, for the likes of Alex Alexiev, for Ethan Bear. I think you're going to see those three guys, especially with regard to Sandin. I would think Sandin jumps up to play with Carlson. We're about to get to the to the morning skate today to see if those are the pairings. But to me, Sandin's numbers will climb in terms of time on ice, and it's an open-the-door situation for either – uh, Alex Alexiev or Ethan Bear. Since Faravari's a, a left-handed shooter cakes, I think Alexiev has the the edge there in that uh, he's a lefty, Bear's the righty. It's not that uh, they can't pop Bear in there. Van Riemsdyk's a player who can who can play on the offside and has shown an ability to do so. And I thought Trevor came back uh, really well from his own um, illness, and, and um, I, I thought he looked the part uh, against Montreal was skating extremely well and when he does that that helps the Caps get out of their own zone quicker than normal 